My name is Jen. I currently live in Los Angeles, California, and I'm an interdisciplinary artist with a background in graphic design. I'm in week two of social distancing, so welcome to my COVID-19 studio diary. My parents met in an elevator of a building where they were both living in D.C. in the 80s. On one of their first dates, my dad accidentally knocked my mom unconscious with his squash racket, and she had to go to the ER because she was concussed and saw stars. They still ended up dating and got married a year later, and a year after that, I was born weighing nearly 10 pounds via C-section in Taiwan, where my mom's family relocated during China's Cultural Revolution in the 1940s. Um, she spent her life, her earlier part of her life there before immigrating to the U.S., to attend school and become a U.S. citizen, and in 1988, we went to Beijing um, when I was still a baby, and we were actually forced to evacuate during the Tiananmen Square massacre. Growing up, my parents and I continued to move back and forth between the U.S. and Tokyo until 2005. During my last years in Asia, I started paying attention to how Japanese subcultures would use individual style as a means of self-expression and rejection against strict societal norms. This led me to start collecting street style magazines such as Street and Fruits, which were started by um, Noriko Kojima and Shoichi Aoki who began documenting Tokyo youth culture in the 90s. What's so amazing about these magazines is that they created an instant feedback loop across different subcultures. Um, so the chance that one might be noticed and photographed for an upcoming issue of Fruits was an incentive to dress even more radically. So in this sense, subculture and visual culture were simultaneously informing one another in like an organic collaborative way and um, this of course was happening during a time when information and communication and cultural exchange were still mainly being shared through analog platforms um, so at the time globally we were on the cusp of shifting towards more digital networking and in some ways, I'm really interested in exploring this intersection between analog and digital methods of viewership and communication. Right now, my studio practice is primarily based in collage and self-publishing or making scenes. I'm mostly drawn to these mediums because they each explore the tactility of print and have histories deeply rooted in counterculture. Most of my materials are found. Uh, I source a lot of my imagery through these books and magazines. Um, and sometimes I photocopy images I've already used because I like the repetition. My collage works, which are arranged within a three column plane are mainly informed by two different ideas, the grid and column system which is used by graphic designers to organize information um, is one, and the other is how one may passively consume visual media through the web, through, for example, social um, media scrolling or Google images, for example. Questions I continue to ask include uh, how does visual culture alter human consciousness and affect one's perception of self? Um, and by exploring these themes of like alienation and, and materiality and consumerism, how can one reappropriate images to either disrupt or subvert these notions?
for influences, I often look towards artists like Adrian Piper and Issa Genskin, but I feel the most inspired by my friends, those who make creative work and those who just live their art and are genius artists by being themselves. I really love to travel and I definitely find spirituality in nature. And um, since California issued its shelter in place order, I've been hiking, learning how to code, um, teaching myself how to drive and trying to read more. I have two orchids that I just repotted and they're both gonna bloom soon. It's been fun to watch them bud a little more every day.